Most of us are the <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> that Janae song, song that sound nothing like that. It, oh. does sound, it does sound like that though. No, it don't. You know what's funny? Let me tell you niggas what's funny. Hey, turn this motherfucking mic on. Hey, you know what's funny? Let me tell you niggas what's funny, right? I feel I feel like I feel like I jerked myself somewhere. Pause, pause, pause. Go ahead. Why would I pause jerking myself? <laughs> You telling us about it? Uh, yeah, that's that's. What are you? Talking about? That's borderline. That's borderline pause. That's borderline. That's Man, borderline. What are they talking about? That's borderline pause. That's borderline. What is? Can I get an age check? You're on probation. Role? You're on probation. You ain't I'm, going I'm to jail on, for that one. You're on probation. I'm not on probation, on probation mall or parole. I'm not <laughs> on anything. You're on probation. Uh, I feel like I somehow I shortchanged myself uh, by stopping my singing career short, and now all these niggas that with my vocal inflections are out singing. Like, why do I love black? How do I pronounce that album? It's just it's black. It is black. It's sick slack, but it's Why black. do I love that album so much and his voice sound like mine? <laughs> <laughs> the album is dope, though. All the right. Great. Check this out. I'll name this podcast later, episode number 96. My name Seven. is... Really? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, check today. Ah, uh-huh, Elliot, bitch. <laughs> I'm three away, bitch. Uh, I'll name this podcast later, episode number 97. Uh, my bad. I am Joe Budden. This is my shit, so I should know the number of it. Across from me is Rory Lanes. To my right is Maul. To Maul's left is Johnny. To my, to my right is Johnny. I, should to my left. From where I am. It's no, but right. it's still his. It's still my right. No matter <laughs> What's up with y'all today? <laughs> I'm just well, trying to correct Maul, you. Maul, no, we, yo, we just want to make sure you're Maul, right. That's, Maul that's is all. on time for one podcast, and now he just want to start <laughs> correcting shit all over the place. Hey, you normally don't even come you, into you can the change. Hey. You can change any day. To Maul's right is Johnny. To my left is Chris. Hi to our people viewing on YouTube. Through the wall is Pat and Matt. Fellas, I feel like we haven't been here in a while, or maybe just a lot happened. It's been about six days. Typically. Normally, it's about six days. <laughs> mm-hmm. So where do we begin here? I don't know. Should we start with sports? No. Nope. Just get it out of the way? Nah, no, no, no. That wouldn't be a typical, typical, I'll name this podcast later uh, fashion. How was your weekend? We can start there. What did I do? What did I do this weekend? Oh, I had a great weekend. I did too. I had a really, really good weekend. Unfortunately, because my short-term memory is really poor, I don't really remember all I did. I took uh, an edible on Saturday. I remember that. Okay, okay, okay. I yeah. played taboo all weekend. We watched football. Yeah. We had a real good time. I did. You know everything Solange is talking about in Cranes in the Sky? I did all of that to try to get unhigh, and it would not go away. When did you get high? On Saturday. I took an edible. Oh, yeah. Why well, wasn't I around for that one? <laughs> you, because you were sitting next to Carmelo Anthony being a IG thought. Yo, you are <laughs> such a, yo, Mo, we got to really address you, my G. Uh, okay. Address you, me. You kind of IG thought it, Sean Mello. I don't even post many pictures of myself. And Mac, by, Mac by association. Uh, yeah, Mac, Mac was next to Mello. Well, Mac is at the age where you should be a little IG thoughtish. But how? Wait, Mac how was IG thoughtish? Five twenty six. I don't have many pictures of myself on my IG. I post stupid shit on my on my IG. You can't post five pictures of you sitting next to Knicks because then no. I'm going to blame you for what? For the Knicks. Why? Because you're a Nick by association. I'm not a Nick. You kind of are. You're an inside no, source. I find out all my Nick's information through you sometimes. Okay, that's fair. Like, it's not, you're not. So I'm an IG thought now? Should I put my You got post? a lot of kind of hats on the low. We got to get into you. What? <laughs> if that's a semi-pause. You got a lot of hats. Okay. On, on, we got to really talk about this. We'll talk about it. No. We got to start with tax. Okay. It's the biggest, it's, the, it's, it's a big story. We're a podcast. It's a, he it's a, he has a podcast. It, it's a big story, and and I pride myself on being able to articulate my thoughts well. Mm-hmm. That's one. Number two, I always remember uh, when that Karen Civil story broke earlier in my podcast career. Anytime <sighs> a story breaks about one of your fellow podcasters, there's like a podcaster wall of just silence where we all just shut the fuck up about it. Mm-hmm. Number one, because it's a pretty hot subject. Number two, because so much street code is involved. Some of us still live by that, by the way. Mm-hmm. I think it's important to say that some people out there do indeed still live by street code. Now, I'm not going to talk about too much of this shit, but I would like to address, because we went to... Rory brought me to a 90s party on Thursday... No, it was Sunday. 
Sunday. God yeah, I'm damn. sorry. <laughs> Jesus Rory Christ. Rory brought me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Rory brought me to a 90s party on Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I very rarely go out, but a 90s party just sounded like a phenomenal idea because I love music that much. And we got there, and it looked like he meant people born in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what it looked like, right? So I'm sitting there. I'm having a good time. It's me. It's Sin. It's Rory. It's my, I got my cousins with me, all types <laughs> of shit. And a guy, who do I see? A guy walks right up to me, and I'm sitting down. And I don't like when people walk up to me when I'm sitting down. Don't do that. Don't do that. I just have bad experiences with that. But anyway, I look up and it's fucking Tex. Mm -hmm. I was happy to see Tex. Right. I was. As was I. It had been a while. I hadn't was, seen Tex do a, a quick catch in, up. in quite some time, number one. Number two, I, wanna, I do want to spend this time to clear up some misconceptions here. Though Tex and I had probably uh, one of the more classic podcast moments in podcast history. I was really a good podcast, by the way. Tex and I are, are pretty okay in terms of, uh, what do you call it, industry friends or, mm -hmm. yeah. or associates or associates or, or peers, mm -hmm. peers. Um, so him and I are pretty okay. So much to the point, I really, and this is a, off on a tangent, but some of, my, some of my Hot 97 views, how they handle other people being cool with people they're not cool with, I don't like. Mm -hmm. I don't like. We're in an industry where Q-Tip told you uh, industry rule number four four thousand and eighty. I mean, come, I'm not with sensitive people over people and their relationships in a business that is all about relationships mm -hmm. <laughs> and not and using foresight and not knowing where people will be. That's number two. Number three, I'm one of the people that think that tax is immensely talented. Mm -hmm. I want to get that out there too, because what I saw. During all of this is a lot of people hate him. That's what I saw. I'm not a fan of that either, millennial people. I'm not a fan of waiting till something bad happens to somebody to say how I truly feel about them. It's corny to me. Mm -hmm. It's whack. I agree. Anyway, hold on. Let me take a sip of my coffee. I think the tax is immensely talented. I saw people pulling up <clears throat> tweets. Uh, and their 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 stick here was karma, mm. and people were pulling up old tweets where Tax said some very disrespectful things. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of that either. All right. I'm not a fan of. Don't ever use my tweets as a reference for me. We all are very ignorant sometimes. Uh, we all <clears throat> context is missing from Twitter sometimes. We play a lot like. You don't know when someone is serious and someone is not serious. And no, and outside of that, he made his his tax hit made well for himself by doing that. That's mm -hmm. his thing. Right. So why are we judging that man on his thing? Now, I want to say rest in peace to the man that lost his life. Because anytime I talk about this situation, I never want to not be mindful or respectful of all parties involved. So I only want to talk about my experience with tax. Mm -hmm. In my experience, if you t take it for what it is, when we saw him at Henny Palooza, mm -hmm. that was New York. He told this story on Noriega's podcast, which is why I feel comfortable saying it here. I told tax in that conversation I don't care about any of the jokes that you make. As long as you never put a hand on me, we are okay. And from that day, me and him have been okay. I say that to say a lot of people take these tweets and the stuff that are said pretty sensitive. Right. Now, I get that stuff that's said on a podcast. Now, Tax posted bail today. Mm -hmm. I'm just, that's, I'm throwing the news out there for people that are uninformed. Uh, he is out, $500,000 bail. I don't know what the stipulations of that bail would be. Um, and now I'm unsure if this is a Fed case or just a regular case. Is this a Fed case? It's a Fed case. I, I think so. I think the Feds are involved. Well, I, I don't know. The thing he was brought up on today may not be a Fed charge, but something coming up maybe. I'm not sure if today is what he faced okay, as so federal. All right. So this is the part where I'm done talking about tax, and now I want to talk about the law. Mm -hmm. How are they able to, can they bounce you around like that? The feds can do pretty much whatever the fuck they want. But when but. the feds have you, them other niggas aren't supposed to be able to touch you, I don't think. Unless you also have charges on the state. Mm, yeah, I think it's something like that. That's where I'm a little confused at. 
I thought when that when I read that the feds pick tax up, I thought they're they have a pretty. My father was so in the feds I, for a long time. Th- they're this, convi- oh, they they when they come and grab you, they're coming to grab you. Fucking they have enough to grab 99.8%. you. Nine point eight percent. And for the, and for those of you unaware, most of the people in the feds mm-hmm. are locked up on conspiracy charges. Mm-hmm. So I was concerned. I'm happy to see the bail posted, and I would like to further watch this more. I would like to watch this more, but I certainly, I certainly am not for people praying for the downfall of others. I've heard stories from people about people that actually do that. By the way, right? Absolutely. I don't want to misinform the people, but I think just to backtrack there, I think the felon with a gun was the state of New York, but considering that gun is under investigation for a federal murder, it's now a federal case. So two cases with the same situation. Mm. Tax probably is not allowed to leave New York, huh? I wouldn't think so. Or allowed at a lot of venues, I wouldn't think. Yeah, I'm not just sure. Just from honestly. past people I know that have been on bail. But Tax was hosting the, the 90s party. <laughs> that was before he was arrested. That was hours before he was arrested. Okay, so my question to the both of you. <clears throat> we have to assume that if he was hosting a 90s party and it was being promoted, that in his brain everything was okay. Yeah. I would think so. All right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't know the feds are coming to get you until they knock on the door. Yeah, unfortunately. They don't give you a heads up and say, hey, listen, tomorrow we're coming to get you. But I pray for everyone involved in that case, from Troy Ave to Tax to Bang his family, every last person that was involved, I pray that situation ends the best way it can end. Yeah, it's, un- it's unfortunate circumstances all around, but, you know, you just got to watch it and, and see what happens. Now, that happened at a T.I. A TI event, mm-hmm. that. T.I. in the group chat, and, and now I'm a, a fan of all T.I.'s doing, by the way. Uh, and especially this last Instagram clip. Can we play some of that? Can you find that? Uh, yeah. Somehow. And Amani, I guess I understand Amani's point. Amani had the group chat and said he was tired of um, Ti's big words or some shit. <laughs> His extensive of TI's vocabulary. Big words. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what he said. I for one was very happy to hear Snoop and Ti speak up against all of the people that are air quotes, cooning for Donald Trump. Yeah. All right. I think Rory has found the clip. Rory, you have a great job in, in producing man, uh, one day. That's what I do. Happy King Day to you. Uh, man, I'm just getting up, and I'm seeing all this stuff on TV, man. Look, I'm going to tell you, all you celebrities, black, minority, all of you, man, athletes, man, all of you. Look he like needed to gargle or some shit before he did this, though. I ain't going to lie, Tip. That people are trying to make you a part of, okay? So do not accept any invitation to have any meeting, no matter how positive you think the outcome may be. Without understanding, man, people have a very Willie Lynch agenda, okay? And... You being there, being seen with them taking pictures and smiling and being positive, it may seem positive to you, but there's a hidden agenda, man. And you might not know it, but now you have been warned. Do not go in there unless you have a strategy or you with John Lewis or somebody who can represent All right, T.I., thank you. <laughs> okay, thank, man, thank, so let me... thank you for the end of this. But I agree. I agree with all of it. I don't think enough people are echoing, echoing that sentiment even though – uh, what is it? The number is now at like 52 Democrats that are boycotting his inauguration, right? Mm-hmm. They all have press releases. So clearly there's something going on up there. I'm glad that he did that and Snoop did that. I don't care if y'all are tired of T.I. and his big words. I'm still a fan of being listening to the message and really not paying any mind to the messenger. I'm cool with this. I loved it. I applaud T.I. Friend of the show for T.I. Make some noise for fucking T.I., man. T. I. For fucking Friend T. of the show. T.I. is fucking great. Friend of the show, T.I. I agree with him, though. I, I think, uh, of course, everyone's running that's meeting with him the same way Charlemagne did with the Tommy girl. Like, I want to have dialogue, which I get. But when you uh, go, but let me finish. When you go into these things, and clearly Kanye said, I'm just here for a picture. Steve Harvey gave no reason of what he was really going to talk about. Like, don't go for your little press run with Trump 
and you don't know what you're going to talk about. Why is Howie? Steve Harvey still relevant? <laughs> He's got family feud. Steve Harvey. And he has a talk Steve show. Harvey speaks to a certain demographic of black women. That's mm. why. That's why Steve Harvey is still relevant and still around. Mm, okay. We gave him that country. Okay. Well, not we, y'all. <laughs> why don't people like Steve Harvey again? He was telling chicks not to give us pussy, so, you know. How y'all gonna not? <laughs> y'all yeah, gonna not like a king of comedy. <laughs> it was Suits, maybe? I don't know. I don't he didn't know like if, kings of comedy? I don't know if Steve Harvey is a king of comedy. But he was in the movie Kings of Comedy. That doesn't mean he's a king of comedy. No, but I'm referencing the movie okay, Kings of Comedy. Yeah. Did you watch that movie? Yeah. I went to the show. You're gonna hate on. You know, Maul had a lot of hats for a long time. <laughs> no, All right, I actually, I did, uh, but I, I didn't think that he deser- was deserving of that. It was a thing that came out around that time with other comedians talking about that too. Because I don't think does Steve Harvey even have a stand up? Yeah, he does. He got a word for large. One, uh, sorry, it was an ad. Uh, he got one. He's breaking down all the old school records. Uh, it's a good bit. He's dancing. I don't. He's not really telling jokes. He's just talking about old shit. Okay, when so when does Trump take I'm, take I'm office? Old. Uh, Friday, yeah. This Friday? Mm-hmm. When? Well, what am I doing this Friday? You going to DC? To say, were you, were you no, one of the I'm celebrities that DC. said yes? No, I'm not a celebrity, and I didn't say yes to anything. No you one, are a celebrity. No, You're not going to no pump up the inauguration. Phone. By definition, I am celebrity. I looked it up today. You are a celebrity. I looked it up. I am. Duh. Congrats, man. What else is happening in, in the <laughs> universe, fuckhead? Uh, you, that's all you have for uh, people meeting with Donald Trump. I agree with T.I. You know what, me? That's what we were talking about, Roy. Roy and I were talking at my house. You know, I, I don't give a fuck about most of this stuff, man. Unf- I have to give a fuck about what's going on with the White House mm-hmm. and, 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 what's, and what's happening in our... But other than that, like these little other extra little side stories and shit. Yeah, I mean, T.I. had similar feelings with, with Yeah, I'm, I'm real big uh, on just minding my business. Some of us, some of us, I hate to use the term woke because it's so over overused... But some of us can see through smoke and mirrors. Right. When Kanye met with Trump the first time, if you go back and listen to the podcast, exactly what the fuck I said I, is what T.I. is saying there. Steve Harvey, Martin Luther King's son, apparently went mm-hmm. to go meet with. And I, and, and I get it. I get being open-minded and having, I get all of that. But I'm also with people are who they are after a certain amount of time. Donald Trump is how old? 70. What are we changing? 60, somewhere in there. What are we changing? What are we changing? I also, well, I my, a, my thing is, if, if you're going to go, you know how sensitive it is right now with him. Tell us why you're going. Don't just say, oh, I want to talk dialogue. He's going to be leading the country. We it's should all, it's come together. For, for Tell me what the fuck y'all are talking about. Like that, man. It's all bullshit. I have a theory that certain and there are certain things that are just indicators of where we are as a nation. Yeah, Trump uh, being voted president. Trump being voted president. Uh, the music we're listening to, who we obsess over in pop culture. And when I look around, I see Trump, I see the Kardashians, and I see uh, turn up music and a bunch of millennials hopping around like bunny rabbits for the next 20 years. Speaking of this bomb, this is what I wanted to talk about. What's up? Guess what I listened to for the first time? Yep. J. Cole's album? No. Oh. Bad and Bougie. Hmm. What were your thoughts? I listened to Bad and Bougie for the first time. Mm-hmm. Everyone is familiar with this song, right? Yeah, I thought things Pretty so. big song out there now. Yeah. But I didn't go to a club. I didn't hear it in a club. I heard this song, like, in my car. So no, I- no. Ice played it and was trying to break down the best verse in the record. Oh, my. <laughs> That's where you heard it. God, Ice is a real idiot. <laughs> Do y'all agree? Can Ice, we just can Ice, we agree? Ice, Ice is an idiot. Ice, Ice was trying to break down. The, uh, he was a rap genius for Bad and Bougie. Yeah, he was. So listen, this is my issue. Bad, I, I'm not mad at the song Bad and Bougie. Mm. I'm not mad at the song. It's a good record. I'm mad at people legitimately having who had the best verse on Bad and Bougie conversations. Mm, okay. That is what I am a little angry at, and that is what fucking Ice. Right. Who was Ice talking to? He was. It was talking Ice was cousins, having a I debate think. with women about bad and bougie. About who had the fucking best verse on bad and bougie? 
And as an MC, I have to sit there and listen to it and not get angry. Yo, you know <laughs> well, what? Well, he didn't say the most Tell miracle. me how I can, you can not have, get angry at you it. You can have a best verse, which is the one people sing along to the most. He didn't say who has the most lyrical verse in Bad and Bougie. He just said we got the best one. Who at the party is singing along? Which verse? I don't think women care about that, though. Women just need a good beat and a good hook. Ice might have just been trying to bag. And that's his of game. <laughs> but wait, why is they, that can't be a game? I was Ice. about to say that's a game in 2017. No, 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 no. Nico's I will not allow you to tell me that. Yeah, nope, it is. Nope, a game. Who? There's women out here that will sit and entertain that, and depending <laughs> on your views, you might get some box. Yo, I can't say that because the last time Maul told me that some shit was happening. What did he say? Niggas was sending women boxes of pizza pies, pizza pies oh, yeah, yeah. from across the nation. Mm-hmm. And it's true. And then it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're telling me that that is game. That's game. Arguing with women is back in, like the third grade is back? No, but it's like when you're able to sit down with women and speak about a, a topic and they feel like, you know, you're, you're Wait, first. you do that? <laughs> no, I, I talk <laughs> with women about, speak not women? about uh, bad and bougie. I'm joking, though. women. I'm joking. No. But I'm just saying, like, they like to see when a guy is kind of well-versed on something. It's kind of, it kind of turns, turns women on when they think men are smart in certain areas. So, all right, I agree with that. So, you're, so, so my you're, knowledge of Offset is going to get me the pussy. Depending on who you're sitting with, yes. <laughs> I don't know if I want that girl. Mm, well, that's, you know, that's another story. <laughs> I'm kind of rolling. I'm kind of rolling. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah but, but wait now. So, so, so you're saying, this is interesting, so men stay in their comfort. Yeah. So Ice is no. comfortable talking music. So no, you, he, so you that's stay what more using. in their comfort zone. Ice is very comfortable talking music. And he's Ice is well versed on music as well, and only music Ice. And so when he's you know when he sits down in a room full of women that that's their type of music. Check this out, fam. I never want to hear that conversation again <laughs> while I'm present. What? Number one, it's very hard. And for I you, damn though. sure don't want to hear that conversation in my fucking living yeah, room. Yeah, it's hard. And for it's you. not hating because I like that song. Yeah, but it's hard for you because you're such a lyrical person. You were built on lyrics and stuff like that. So when you sit down in a room and hear people talking about that, I can see how you'll sit around like, "What the fuck is going on right now?" You can't attempt to kill lyricism, right? And then discuss it. Right. <laughs> no. I feel you. No. 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 That would be against all that I fucking am. Right. No. I feel you. No, Donald Glover. Right. I don't care that the song is amazing. Right. And it is amazing. Yeah. Not better than March Madness. Mm-hmm. And as soon as let's, you niggas... Let's argue that in like two or three weeks. And as soon as you niggas stopped wanting to stand there looking stupid, Black Beatles doesn't play anymore, huh? I yeah, hate I do. this fucking generation. Are you Black Beetle still plays. Well, I don't go anywhere, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and bad and bougie, in a little while, I think you, you might be able to, if it withstands the oh, next month or two. I'll tell you, no, no, no. I will say this, it though, because we did. March Madness. Because we, uh, we was talking uh, a couple of days ago. I forgot who said it, but if bad and bougie makes it through the summer as a hot record, it might be just as big or not bigger than March Madness because this record's been out for a while. Oh, so if it lasts through this summer, God. if it lasts yeah, through this yeah. summer, yeah. ain't that wrong? If it lasts, no, 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 no. If it lasts through this summer, if it's the biggest record, the hottest record out this summer, we we're gonna have to have this conversation again. No, we won't. Okay. Tell, give me what well, consti- what hold up, Roy. Give me what constitutes this summer. June. You mean through the summer? To yeah. The fall. Man, if y'all shut the fuck up, it's possible. Give me the last record that did it then. I don't know what the last record. That's Bobby Schmurder. Okay, so if this record does it, I was gonna say Trap Queen. If no. this record does it, then we have to have that <laughs> conversation again. Out for like a year and a half in rotation. Bad and bougie. I don't want to hear a fucking who had the best bad and bougie verse. I just found out Lil Uzi Vert was on the song. I didn't even know that. Yeah, his man. his verse is like, and I promise this is no disrespect to Styles P at all. It was just unfortunate. It was like Styles verse on BMF. It just never got played. It got cut off. You kind of forgot Styles. Well, in, well, well, in a club, the third verse should get cut off. Yeah, yeah, they don't play records that long. I don't know the third verse of Pump It Up. <laughs> what? I, I never even the heard verse. the third verse of Pump It Up ever, <laughs> ever. That's fine. I said it and I don't know it. Right. <laughs> but true. so now that leads me to a very interesting conversation that that we were having. How would we end up having that New York rapper conversation? Wait, uh, before, we talk about Dave East uh, playing oh that really good God. record on his Instagram. All right, so. Davies is a friend of the show. No, Absolute the friend of the show. Davies, I like. Davies on Davies's Instagram. Davies played a uh, he played a snippet of a song with him and Chris Brown. 
Um, and it was a remake of an SWV record, You're Always On My Mind. Can you find it? Oh, on his Instagram? Yeah. I'll, it was a re- it's a remake of uh, SWV's You're Always On My Mind. Now, when I, I heard it, I just love, I love SWV and I love R&B. So, of course, I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, and he did his thing on it. And Women Like Dave East... And it's a girl record. It sounds like one of those, right? Don't play. Do you remember? Nah. Do you remember which one it was? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You yeah. listened. Yeah, I, I one, didn't hear it. One hundred percent. Talk for a minute. I'll find it. Uh, so yeah, we were saying with the uh, power of Def Jam now that Dave is now finally getting that extra step that he couldn't have gotten independently. Mm-hmm. And Chris Brown was the first one. It seems that Def Jam has landed on to put him in that single category. Mm-hmm. And I was suggesting, is that the best person to put? next to Dave as his first shot at making that radio record. Well, who else would you put there? What other what other artists for a hook? Jeremiah? I, I would have shot for Bryson before I'd shoot for Chris right now with Dave because so, I think Dave has the younger demographic. I mean, we like him, but I still think his demographic is, is early I think 20 him, I think him and Chris have the same demographic. I suppose. I, I, I still think... My like twenty five, twenty six loves Chris Brown. I don't know if people younger than that look at Chris the way I look at Chris. I think they do. Chris is not that far. He's not that far removed. All right. Well, when was the last Chris Brown hook that got someone to a number one? I would like to think. I'd have to get my computer away from Joe to research. Go that. ahead, take it. I'm on my phone. The last hook. When did Chris right, take one to? I don't know. When did Chris take an artist last? He's done it a lot. I'm just curious. When was the last time? I don't know if I'm I, right I would have Chris. to say his last. What was the last one? What was his last record with his another artist? His last feature? Yeah. Chris Brown feature. I just think he's that one of those artists that, you know, he can't really miss. Somehow I can't find it. But, but I, I think with a lot of those Chris Brown hooks, they come and go. It's like, oh, this is catchy. This is cool. But they don't stick as of re- recent. I, I mean, I, someone that would look it up could probably prove me wrong. But from off the top of my head, I can't think of Chris on a hook taking someone for a longevity record. I can't. Well, well, not recently, well what not records recently. have longevity yeah, in the say, streaming era, really? really. You kind of bad and bougie. <laughs> we don't yeah. know that yet. <laughs> it's been out for a minute. Well, no. What I noticed that happens a lot with Migos and Ray Schremert, they're really, really, really good at putting a project out, just having it had been out. And then something popping months later from the project. Yo, I just found out that that Ray Shrummett record was on their first album. Which one? That Black Beatles record. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Black was Beatles it? was on their second one. Well, yeah, uh, well how long ago did the second album come out? A long time ago. Yeah. Okay, so it was on their second album, but that yeah, song been, that ago. album's been out for a while. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's, like what no, that's what I'm saying. I just like no found flex, it out. No flex zone and shit. That was their first album. Okay. So that I just found was, out yeah. that that record was had been out for a while. But anyway, the Did point that they I didn't find it at all, okay. and and I can't look at uh, Davies' entire Instagram. Somebody's doing a real good job with Davies' Instagram, by the way. Um, <laughs> this fucking uh, <laughs> such a fact. <laughs> it is. It looks fucking good on there. Um, what am I saying though? No, but me and Rory then started talking about all the New York rappers that tried that formula, or maybe didn't try that formula, that we thought at one time would blow. Maul and Rory, you are both on the hook for Vado. And Vado's a friend of the show. That's my man. Yeah. Yeah, I, when Vado hooked up with Khaled, you couldn't tell me shit. I was like, Vado's out of here. Because he dropped that baby record, mm-hmm. and I liked that baby record a lot. Yeah. I did. I thought it was on. Vado got a few records that, that I like that I thought was going to really like blow, but for whatever reason, didn't quite hit that mark. Khaled but, had just did the Ace Hood thing, and I was like, all right, he's about to do the same with Votto. Mm-hmm. Get him all these great, great records and put out a solid album. And yeah. that just didn't seem to work. Votto should come to the show. Votto yeah. should come up here. I agree. I would like to know what the fuck is going on with, with Votto. I Wait, Votto's on this season of Love and Hip Hop, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I no, no. It, Where what? am I seeing Votto on Love and Hip Hop? Oh, no, I think he did make an appearance on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, I, I think I saw, I saw a saw clip, a trailer. Yeah, he something. was in the studio with uh, one of them. Yeah, I don't know, but they bugging now, so I'm off it. <laughs> somebody got Somebody better get beat the fuck up at the reunion. I want to say that about loving hip hop. I'm I'm tired of seeing the, the crazy shit that's going on on there. Bisco, call me. Call my phone, man. Did you call him Bisco? Well, fucking, uh, they're one in the same. Self calls him Bisco. The why? Same person. I don't know why. I don't know why. To, I don't know. Well, I don't know why anybody does what they do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We need to get into this. Why does he call that man Bisco? They part of the creep squad. 
They is he a blood nicknames. or something? Is, is, is self a blood and he can't say Cisco? Cisco might be a blood on the low. Y'all gonna play with Cisco. Bisco is funny, though. That's a funny-ass name to call somebody. Well, first of all, Cisco is funny. <laughs> Not That's as funny, funny as Bisco. Bisco's funny too. Yeah. He's doing he, hey Cisco, you gotta text me, man. You're doing a lot of shit that's fucking up light skinned niggas uh rep out here. That that's wild. There's too much tea. Cisco have all the tea on Love It. Uh, let's not backtrack yet, because I had other people on that list of uh I mean, let me hear, let me I wanna hear it, I wanna hear. Uh I had Hell Rell on there. Hell Rell was definitely supposed to blow. Don't look at me like that. I had Hell Rell on there. Yeah. <laughs> Where were where were you in O four? On, <laughs> <laughs> on. Not paying attention. Popping. I was on. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was in. I was doing I was, things. Yeah, that's funny. Who? No disrespect. No, this is all coming from a hell. Rail is nice. O D. But who thought ugly old ugly ass hell rail was about to blow? So you got to be handsome to blow. Unfortunately. <laughs> Ask Fred the Godson. Biggie wasn't handsome. Ask Fred the Godson how you got to look to blow. And Fred, Fred the Godson is nice. Yeah, but Big wasn't handsome. Oh, please. You, we, we, we have to, we have to argue that no, labels just, are just, trying to market artists. I'm just saying. This is not me thinking that people are unattractive. I'm just, if I have to guess why talented people are not rocking, I have to assume it's something else. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm not trying of, to be funny. A lot of it is work ethic. A lot of it is... You Do know, we think Hell Rail doesn't have work ethic? I mean, you, you might not be able to make, you know, good. You know, I never like talking about that because you never know how niggas is getting their money. I just knew, I, I like to judge niggas on their ability. Hell Rail can rap, but I don't think it was a large outpouring of people that thought Hell Rail was about to be the one. I can see what you're saying. I'm not saying, That's what I'm I'm not saying. saying the one, but I thought out of that, like, lower tier of Dipset, like JR and them, I thought Hell Rail had that I heard charisma a, that he could be a I star. heard a lot of that about JR. Ryder was Jay nice. Yeah, Ryder was nice. A lot of the tips that was nice. Yeah, that's my man. Uh, I want to say Banks. All right, Banks had an amazing career when G Unit had it. I still thought with his talent, he could have been a bit better solo. I love like Rotten Apple. I know a lot of people don't, but like I like those albums, but they never did what they possibly could have. I still need my Banks verse, so shut up. <laughs> Dog, oh, you know Banks who I thought? I was G Unit. I wasn't even <laughs> Dipset back then. <laughs> Banks was my favorite rapper. Dog, you know who was my favorite rapper at one point? And I thought they was the one. Ali Vegas, man. Mm. Yo, I loved Ali Vegas, man. Do you know I had a beef with Ali Vegas? <laughs> so who didn't you? How the hell do you have a beef with Ali Vegas? Ali Vegas wasn't even, he never really blew like that for you to have beef with him. Unless it was some underlying shit that you. Ali know. Vegas is from Queens, no? Right, right. And I'm from Queens. Right. And I was that nigga in Queens for a little while. Okay. And he didn't like that. Mm. I don't remember what happened with that. You moved when you were like nine. <laughs> no, I'm talking about when I went back. Oh, okay, okay. When I went back. Early, oh, with like MV and Nitty, everyone. Yeah, yeah, And okay, now okay, you're okay, just okay. seeing how they moving and you might associate what they doing with me. I and, now, and now you're sending jabs when nobody's room. really listening to you. Mm-hmm. And I'd have tore Ali Vegas' ass up back then. I liked Ali Vegas a lot. I liked oh, him too. Yeah. Big one here, Corey Guns. Yeah. Corey Guns was was definitely when he got on that especially after that a Millie record a Millie shit that it was supposed to be like he was y'all supposed was to hype he was supposed to flood <laughs> yo y'all be I hype. mean he, that verse yo, was crazy be really hype no, y'all that, be no, hype no but that verse was crazy yes the verse was crazy and the song and, was big and Wayne was the biggest artist in the world yeah. he said this is he my guy he was supposed to yeah he was I thought that was I said okay he's on his way Wayne about to set him up and the way he going he's out of here this be my question for people why do we need to, to, today today. Why do we need to be set up? Why can't Corey Guns put something out right now? And, that the, was, and the people who like Corey Guns that was going the era by Corey of the Guns. cosign, though. Yeah, that was the era of the cosign. Like everyone was, that was your way. I'm cosigned. All right, okay. shit. Drake got cosigned. I'm not allowed to talk about anything, Drake. Uh, I, I'm just saying <laughs> he did. He he came right after that, Amelie. That was like around the same time. Listen, bro. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, while y'all do that, so. Just that fast. It's probably mad bad boy rappers that I'm not thinking of. G Dep. Craig Mack probably should have blew. Yeah, I agree. Craig Mack probably should have blew. Yeah. Yeah, G Dep would have been great, but that didn't work. G Dep is super nice. Oh, D nice. What's that album uh, that's not special delivery? <laughs> the shit mm. that came out after. Oh, I don't know. Like every Child the, the record, every Child, Child of the, of the Ghetto. Ghetto. It's a great album. Child of the Ghetto is a great album. So, so listen. Unfortunately, we have to talk about the Cowboys. 
at some point. I would love to talk about oh, the Cowboys Joe losing. Yeah, he was nice. Joe that, DeBreeze. Who, Maul, you're a Pats fan. Who do you have winning your uh, – I thought you would be objective. All right, give me a score on the game. Uh, Pats versus Steelers. Give me a score. Pats 24, Steelers 16. Your defense is holding them to 16. Yeah. All right. Who you got winning the other game? Falcons, Packers. I got the Packers winning. Yeah. I've had Patriots, Packers in the Super Bowl since the beginning of the playoffs. I think Atlanta's a better team, but. I Dallas was a better team, too. But I think Aaron Rodgers is. Uh, is God. Where do y'all rank Aaron Rodgers uh, on your all-time quarterback list that you've seen with your eyes? That I've seen with my eyes? Uh shit, I'm young, so three. You have to be top five. Okay, I asked somebody that that I they, and I respect their sports opinion, and they said we're in a microwave era. Tell me what Aaron Rodgers is doing that I didn't see Michael Vick or Herschel Walker do. Win a Super Bowl. One. <laughs> Win consistently. He wins games. I think he's just talking about ability. Oh, if we're talking about ability, I mean, there's a lot of quarterbacks that have more ability than so Tom the winning, Brady. So the winning is what separates it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'm just asking. There's just a asking. lot of players better than that have more ability than certain players. But for you to be consistent and win every year, that takes a lot. That Dallas game was a great game. It I don't was. think Dallas has anything to be ashamed of. I don't think they have anything to hang their heads about. I think they'll be back next year, and they'll have a great year. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. You made a good point when we were watching that game. This is the first Dallas team that I've like, I've liked. Kind yeah, of. like they're uh, likable. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, and I hate. I, I have to like Dallas it. a little bit because I like the two young black rookies. I like that. I like Dez. Dez is great. Mm -hmm. I fuck with him. I, I like some of them. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, the culture. The culture seems to be changing in Dallas a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of culture. Let's get to it. Phil Jackson, drum roll. It's time to go. It's time to go. Phil, <laughs> check this out, Duke. You got to get the fuck out of town. Sorry. Hey, I was one of the people, I was one of the Phil Jackson defenders. Mm-hmm. Check in, longtime Nick fan here. Check my credentials. If any of y'all don't know, I'm qualified to speak on this here. Mm -hmm. Phil has to go. Mm -hmm. No. And I don't even care if Melo wants to stay in New York for all of the wrong reasons. I don't care. Right. I don't care. I don't care. Enough with the fucking Tom foolery. He, we, he's hoodwinked us. Phil Jackson has hoodwinked us. Yeah. I think he has hoodwinked Melo. He's hoodwinked us all. He has to go. Get the fuck out, Phil. I agree. We lost to Philly last night or well, two nights ago. This is my thing. Again. Phil Jackson is, and I read this somewhere, and I, I agree, he's stubborn. And well, he's, players have said he's, everybody said he's, he's stubborn. He's arrogant. Yes. He's stubborn, and he's, he's stuck in his old way of thinking, right? And you have to – anybody that watches the game of basketball clearly sees that the game has changed and evolved. The slow-tempo, half-court game, there's no more of that. Teams are averaging 100-plus points a game. You don't score 100-plus points with a half-court offense like that every single time down the floor. So you have to implement a new way of basketball, a new way of playing. My thing is you have pieces that are willing and capable of keeping up with this new pace mm -hmm. of basketball. Why not let them do that? Why be set and stuck in your ways of playing the way you won championships and the way you won rings? You don't have that personnel that you had when you won these rings. You don't have a Michael Jordan. You don't have a Kobe Bryant. You don't have a Shaquille O'Neal. You have Phil pieces Jackson, that are good. Phil Jackson, this Nick team has eight new players. Phil Jackson is fully responsible for this roster, number one. Number two, I think that Phil Jackson is 100% uh, leaking information to New York media. Like, like oh, yeah. Why? 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 Absolutely. And I don't think he's focused on him and his girlfriend broke up. So I think personally. That's what I, that's what I said. He's not interested in basketball at this point. That's I what mean, I. His, his legacy so rough, is man. solidified. It's not like he has to do well in right. New York. <laughs> right. Well, let me ask you this. If you only had one 
opportunity, Melo gone or Phil gone? Can we close that door? Which would you prefer? Phil. Yeah, Phil. I will Phil has Phil. to go. Yeah, he got to go. He got to go. I've been a Nick fan too long. The culture is just diseased. It's nasty. The triangle. I'm tired. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And oddly enough, what has Melo done wrong? <laughs> Melo has Outside of his play, I could critique his play. I'm talking about. The example and, and how he's carried himself. He's done everything that he said he, he would do. Here, here's my thing. I, I'm on record as being upset with Melo's play. Me too. But when I think differently, right, I can I, if I'm upset at his play, I have to be upset at the system. And I have to be upset at what's being handed down and being told to the team. Melo's a scorer. He's one of the greatest scorers the NBA has ever seen. So I can't be mad at somebody that can put the ball in the basket the way he can. But you have to put him in a different system. You have to put him in a different offense. And you have to demand more from him defensively. But you need the right coach and the right GM to bring that out of your player. Listen, I'm only a living room coach, and I'm very thankful for God Zingas. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I love him, and I was wrong about <clears throat> but there, him. But to me, there's just minor changes that need to happen that's not happening with this team. I mean, I, I've always been not on the trade mellow bandwagon ever, but I think if he leaves, it'll get him a ring quicker and us rebuilding faster. A I ring where? I think it's better. He's only going to go to Cleveland or? Yeah. All right, go to Cleveland. The Knicks will not get equal value for Melo. No. no, they won't. And I'm not saying that. I will. would like that Nets, for, that Nets first round pick that Boston has. And Jay Crowder, mm. though. Mm. And Marcus I'm not Smart. Mad at that. I'm I, just not think, mad at I just think we'll rebuild quicker if Melo's not here. That's all. But no, I don't think we'll definitely get equal value. For what Melo is worth, do we think that Sierra is being uh, that future is being petty with this sending a Falcon jersey to his son? <laughs> Did that happen? <laughs> do we know if that happened? Yeah, it's I, don't, a, it's, I, don't I mean, know. it doesn't matter. Oh, if we just want to have a fun, <laughs> just have fun conversation. Can? Yeah, who cares okay, fun conversation. That's absolutely petty. That is the most. No, petty it ain't. Shit I'm from Atlanta. My team just won. My son's wearing a fucking uh, Falcons jersey. That is absolutely. <laughs> you ain't sending him a jersey uh, last month. Well, that now they're in the NFC. I, I, I know. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know he was going to a yeah. game. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he had a game. That's to go petty, to. man. That's petty. Listen, That's absolutely petty. Listen, let me tell. You, this is what I learned about myself. I'm a fan of 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 petty. That's not really bothering anybody. I'm a fan of like fun yeah. petty. Fun that's, petty. That's fun. Petty. I like fun petty. Yeah, that's, that's kid, fun petty. Send it to, I don't like petty when you're seriously petty. Yeah. Like, or like stop. trying to like if he was really trying to ruin their marriage. Yeah, or some like shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's, that's too that's much. Corny. Very yeah. extra. You're doing yeah. a lot, but a little bit. Of, yeah, I like fun petty. I do. Yeah, I like fun petty. I do. Um, what fun else? petty is a friend of the show. I fun, like petty. fun petty. If he was real, he would have taken his son because Future was at the game. He was on the field. If he was real, he would have taken his son with him on the field in a Falcons jersey. That would have been too much, though. <laughs> That's like, come on, man. All right, we get it, but come on, you're going too far. Russell would have closed line <laughs> right off that right. Mouth. <laughs> so, people are trying to make me retire my green scully. I'm not doing it just yet. The whole world is. Yo, listen, that green scully has My mom, up. my send my mom, the fans. Why is this becoming a thing? Do you wash it? Yeah. That green come scully. On, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What no, I'm just asking. What do you mean? No, you just I, had to know I, I watched it. I just had to ask. No, I've just had it on my fucking head for the last nine years. Yo, listen, I remember. Without we, putting to it on my head. I remember, I remember one time we went to Miami, man. Wait, are you telling a story right now? <laughs> yes, I'm telling oh. a Joe story. <laughs> so we go to Miami. So you you got there the day before us. What year is this? This was three years ago? Two years ago? Oh, recently? Yeah, this was like three years. Three or two years. Three years ago, I think. All right, I'm listening. So me and Imani flew down to Imani, uh, Miami the day after you. You got there the day before us. So we flying. So we land. We like, yo, what's up? Where you at? He's like, yeah, I'm by the pool. We, we, I, we get to the hotel. So me and Imani walk down to the pool. So I'm looking. I'm like, where this nigga at, man? So lo and behold, I look to the left. And I see Joe. But he's mm. like, the way he's positioned, you can't really see him, but I could tell that's him. Mm. He turns around. But he I has can, the green scully on. But I can tell that's him. <laughs> You had a green scully on. I knew it was you. You're the only nigga in Miami with a scully on. It's 85 degrees. And Whoa. you tell me my my brain is cold. <laughs> that's, that's when I knew like you were just a different type and of nigga. And he probably said it with mad confidence. No, no, like no. no. He looked regular, at me and said like, my brain. And then I had to think, has my brain ever been cold? <laughs> like, you know, you got to start thinking about shit. Yeah, because I'm like, wait, my brain has never been cold. Like, is there something wrong with me? You wouldn't know Yo. if it was cold. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? A lot Whoa. is going on in your brain. Let know. me tell you, 
uh, I think you were living in LA at this time. Joe lost that Scully once, and his whole world. The album All Love Lost is about that Scully. It's not about any of his mm, exes. I could see his whole world collapsed it. when he lost. That I was Scully. with you when you bought that Scully. Yeah, we was, I think you got that from Atrium, right? No, we was in Boston. Okay, we okay. was in Boston, and we walked in a store that looked like the Bodega. Yeah. The bodega. And them niggas had nothing but fire in yeah. their back. <laughs> they, went to the bodega, yeah. <laughs> they opened up that little side door in a fucking... That's a dope setup for a store. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's we a neat setup heaven. in Boston. Yeah. I wished I had money back then. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I remember he bought that Scully. Yeah, that's crazy. I well, did. I lost... Defense, Camel I want to make an IG underrated. for your Scully. <laughs> and I want to run it. And I just want to caption like dope shit. Like I want to place your Scully like on parking meters and shit. And, I like, feel like I feel like every week I tell you that you be doing a whole lot of shit on. Every week <laughs> I see new shit on Instagram from you. For me, no, I don't post like that. I want to shout out to Shade Bella Ginner or whatever her name is. She has the best Insta live that I've ever seen. Who's she that? only she only goes on at like four thirty in the morning. Oh, this is the IG joint you're telling me about. And she be get letting bitches have it. <laughs> like she's like some Can wild shit. Can you tell that shit. story? Because well, I was in knots for an well, hour when well, you and Sin were telling well, me. The me story. and Sin were on there watching her on Insta Live, and she, I guess, some girls from from the, uh, I guess, some mice. What up, baby? And I guess some women from um the uh country were were talk, talking shit about her or whatever. So she was going. Ham. She said, first of all, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I was like, oh, hold up. This right. might be kind of... You know kinda, some fires coming. <laughs> yeah, this might be kind of real. She was bitch wasn't even all that hot. Right. But, <laughs> but the way she put that out there. <laughs> yeah, then you got to kind of... She said, first of all, look at me. Like, you know, are we for Don real? Like... Four thousand dollar bag, two thousand dollar shoe, burk it like bitch, huh? For, like she was going ham like right, that. Right. Then, then she said, "I'm from L.A. You can't tell. I feel like you can't tell me nothing. I'm from L.A. Like L.A. We like the greatest." Then she wanted to tell spiel about how L.A. is the greatest. And then she said, "Like bitch, you live in like the country. Your house is made out of sticks and stone and straws." <laughs> Oh, she, she was get she was getting her balls off. Wait, she said, Don "Bitch, DeMarcos. shut up! I blow your house down." <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Who is this girl? Like, what does she do? She's uh, like a model. I don't know. What I'm on. She's a butt model. Am, am I, I am I allowed I know to know, know what she does? I don't. I'm just saying. Like, what is her? Don't try to get me. If in you follow her, and uh, she has to. Uh, hit, she, uh, yeah, yeah, check this out. She got to be shaped like something. <laughs> no. No. You know, no, no, no. You know what's funny? I follow a lot, a lot of people on Instagram. Like, you never know how these people are when you, when you, if they talk or some mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. So I follow a lot of like weight gym shit. I follow like fashion shit. Motherfucker went to the gym. Twice I don't know. This I don't know who this girl. I don't know who this people. girl is or how I ended up following her. Yeah, I'm part of that. Back, get back in the gym in January to get right for the summer crew. Mm -hmm. I'm with that, by the way. And mm -hmm. stop Round of applause February. for niggas that start, get back in the gym in January trying to get right for the bitches. I'm, in the I'm happy time. for you, Joe. Fuck that. Whoa, whoa, I got mine, nigga. Don't try to. Yo, Mo. <laughs> what? Yo, low. I'm I, watching you, Mo. I just said I'm happy for you. But you back in the gym. You know that Simi listening to this fucking podcast and you be trying to do a little underhand. No, 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 no. Listen. Hey, no, no, you listen. Maul is, is that friend. Maul is 100% no, no, no. that friend. That, no, set, why can't I tell you right, what I'm saying? Ahead, you told ahead. a whole fucking story okay. about a hat in Miami. Okay. I can't say what I'm saying. Okay, right. Maul is that, is that fucking friend. That okay. When your girl is around, you should be nervous about whatever he's saying. No. You better not do, you better not, you better have a clean jacket when your girl's around and Maul is there. Okay, but that's not what I was doing right there. What I was he's saying was, because I remember you was it, on your gym shit heavy at one point, and then you just stopped. When we was in Totowa. Yeah, I was. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm happy for that, that you're back in the gym. I wasn't trying to be funny right there. I'm Damn. Watching. I, all right. Oh, man. I can't get no credit not, around here. I'm watching. I'm all watching. Right, my bad. Now, yeah. I don't remember what I was talking about before this fucking gym shit. See the girl happens? on, See on Instagram. See when your girl move in? You no, got to pick up her. habits that are outside of the house. You don't even want to be in the gym. Bro. Sade Bellinger. What is <laughs> no, her name? No, no, no. We offered whatever her name is. <laughs> Bele <laughs> Bellinger? Yeah, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know her name. I don't know who this girl is. Uh, what oh, are we talking I, about? I was about to tell a funny story, but I ain't about to get in trouble. Fuck y'all. <laughs> don't be pussy. <laughs> See? No, no, I That's ain't doing crazy. it. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Uh, last night was the season finale of Shooter. That may not be important for to some. I got some quick tidbits I want to throw out there. The season finale of Shooter, that's very important. I don't know if I touched on this last week, but Viola Davis uh, got a, a star in the Walker fan. Did I say that? Yep. All right, cool. Betty Davis's birthday was yesterday, and we all thought she died because she was trending on Twitter, at least in the morning. People that wake up in the morning, when we saw Betty White's name trending on Twitter, we thought she had passed away. That's oh, typically Everybody was scared. Mike and Mike said the same thing. Uh, here's another quick tidbit. Mike and Mike is going away. They're getting rid of Mike and Mike. Why? 
After 20 years, they're getting rid of Mike and Mike. Why? If you haven't noticed, ESPN is doing a lot of shifting and shuffling. Mm -hmm. I think they're ushering Mike Golick's jun Mike Golick Jr.'s son to have a show with somebody else. Uh, I don't know. They're doing a lot of shuffling around. I don't know. But they're breaking that show up. They're putting all of their big dogs in their own variation of a sports center. So you okay. see how uh, Scott Van Pelt yeah. has his own version, yeah. Carrie. Like, they're doing that. So okay. Mike Greeny is going to have his own. I don't know what they're doing with Golick. I'm not sure that many people are concerned with whatever Golick is about to do, unfortunately. Okay. Got you. What else? Uh, local Jersey City News. The Greek is closing. What is the Greek? I know that means nothing to most of you listening. Mm -hmm. But for some of the people familiar with 8 Mile Long Jersey City, the Greek is on ocean. It is a soul food. It's a food staple that's been there for like it's one of the hood. It's one of the Wait, did I go there with you before? You 100% have okay. been to the Greek with me on. before. Okay. Yeah, I probably asked you to go with yeah, me because we it's there. dangerous there. <laughs> <laughs> and we went there early one time. You bet I don't go there when it's not early. Right. Okay. I got you. I, got I told you. niggas, I'll go there and get the grits, but it's got to be at 5 in the morning. Now, I don't know if that's still the case in Jersey City because Buck is telling me that the acidic Jews are taking over the hill now. Yo, so my bar, <laughs> my barber. Hmm. Yo, my this, bar is, this is great hood news, by the way. I wish y'all knew what was going on in my hood. No, right. so to the point of the acidic <laughs> Jews, right? I'm getting my haircut always 15. I've been going to that barber for nine fucking years. He goes, yo, it's going to be a dub. I said, for what? He said, I saw on Facebook that the acidic Jews is coming, so I raised the price. They bought the Greek. <laughs> Wait, how much do you pay for your haircut? 15. It's 20 now because the acidic Jews in Jersey City. Do you, do you tip you pay the five? I, I tip. I give mine 25. Yeah, I just give my barber twenty dollars. How I'm yeah. balding? To pay twenty five. Hey, Jose, we gotta talk, homeboy. <laughs> yeah, they paying twenty five, and you're doing a fucking beard. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So the Greek is closing. Uh, I'm sad about that. Damn it, something else is happening. Something else. We got a new undercard with Meek and Safari. Do we care about that? No, nah, here's my thing. But <laughs> I like the fact that Safari jumped out there and said that. Though. What did, did he say? say? I don't know. Uh, school me. What did he say? When uh, I think Meek posted something about. He wanted to fight. Uh, he would fight Drake for five mil. He was on Insta Live and he's like, "We'll make Nicki be the the ring yeah, girl." Yeah, and then uh, and then Safari he posted under the comment like, uh, "Drake probably don't got time for that, but I do or something like that." I like that, Me and I'm not a big Safari fan, but I like you know. that he that he said that. <laughs> Only because it's like, yo, you know Drake is not going to take that up on the offer, but I'll no. do it. Like, me and you could, you know what I mean? Like, we could box. First of all, Meek and Drake uh, might be the worst fight ever. <laughs> Why? That might be like Floyd and Pacquiao again. Why you say that? Actually, it might be worse than that. Well, you're not allowed to speak on Drake, so. So I'm not going to speak on it. Yeah. Um, I like Safari jumping out there. I feel like Safari has a lot of anger toward Meek. It, it was oh, Ice. Someone told me. I think Absolutely. It was, I, think, I think it was Ice saying that, wait, I get to... Fuck you up and get my girl back. Right. <laughs> this is the best scenario ever. Wait, so now Meek, so now Meek is, and I, I, I hate that I know this stuff. Listeners, I really hate that I know this stuff, honestly. But they make it so easy to know now with all of these fucking blogs. Yeah, it's in your face. So now Meek is following the other Nikki that we teased Safari for dating another girl named Nikki from Love and Hip Hop. Okay. Oh, the Nikki. Nikki now, baby, I, can't, I, now I can't say much about this because all these people be since friends and I don't be knowing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I won't touch this too much, but I didn't know. I, I'm late to the party when I, when girls are really, really hot. Like, mm. people think this girl's really hot, obviously. Uh, yeah. That Stevie J show is tritted ass. I have, I have not <laughs> I only seen show. one episode. <laughs> I'm judging you. You know, you know when you're watching some shit and then the show go off and then the next show just come on, so now you stuck watching yeah. that by default? Well, Love, uh, Love and Hip Hop made us watch Black Ink for 10 minutes yesterday. Yeah, but because I did Love and Hip Hop, I knew, how to, I knew that was going to happen like that. Mm -hmm. And what is going on with Black Ink? Caesar wants to wear uh, vests now. Leather vests are back. See, a trendsetter ahead of my time. <laughs> I don't get the credit I deserve out here. I'm, I'm trying to tell it's, people. No, 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 Joe. It wasn't that, that you wore a leather vest. It's when you wore the leather vest. No, I think it was still just no, I think it was just still. <laughs> nah. and that's the pro and that is the problem. He wore, it was ninety three degrees outside when he had it on. That's what we were joking on. Like Joe, you got no, to. We was at a pool party. It's, he Maul. still looked absolutely Maul. nuts on See, that screen. See, wait, I want to correct this right now because unfortunately, I harbor anger toward you. <laughs> okay, keep going. I harbor anger toward you because 
you were supposed to be my voice and my conscious when I was mollied out wearing vests on Love and Hip Hop. So the fact <laughs> that you are unable to identify that something was wrong with just all of the vests. Wait a minute. We I think I'm the one that told you that. I'm the one that said, yo, why that, you wearing so many vests? No, on the low, you're the one that, that you and Corey, you're the one that. No, 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 no. Hell no. I, you're not going to throw that in my life. No, 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 no. I was the one that was trying to tell you, yo, dog, More. you OVing, you overvesting. I told you that, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I say, yo, you out here OVing. <laughs> you overvesting. You got seven vests, dog. You it's a three vest vested. Yeah, I'm like, Man yo, invested. dog, it's you, you. What you doing? And you was like, yo, you bugging. Mom. These shits is hard. Da, 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 da. I'm like, Joe, you know what? All right, go ahead, B. You got it. Holy shit. Don't put that that's in my lap, man. I'm no, def- you know, I can't yo, let you do that. That's definitely on you because, no. listen, I know and my fans know that I, I don't, what have I ever cared about? I don't know how to dress. I'm going to be the first to say I don't know how to but dress. Th- I, that's wear why sweats, I wear sweats every day of my fucking but life. Joe, I like that, comfort. But, Joe, that's what I was trying hey, to tell let you. Let me Look tell my story. About that vest. So yes, when man. I come to Maul, who's like my only Harlem friend, if he is indeed from Harlem, we don't know. Because we can't confirm his real name or anything. But <laughs> Wait, what? What I go fuck? to my only Harlem friend. Harlem niggas is supposed to be known for knowing how to dress rest of the world. Mm-hmm. And, and I lay vests out on the bed. And these <laughs> niggas stand there with thinking emoji face. <laughs> Nigga. That's wild. Okay, that keep going. Vests out for and what friends. did I say? I was high, Rory. <laughs> I said all 17 my, of these listen. are a go? First of all, it wasn't. Wait, so where did you purchase all <laughs> this? This nigga had twenty three vests on, on we, the bed. Can we unplug where you bought them to save people? I'm done talking. I'm not that <laughs> invested in this conversation, so I'm done. Just no, I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm just trying okay. to have therapy. Uh, I harbor anger towards you. I blame you for some of that vest shit. That's that okay. I'll take the blame because you're my man. I'll, I'll take the blame. That was well, that summer. I'm, I'll thank more for a great uh, reality TV moment of all of us laughing. Thank so, you, Rory. I, yeah. Wait, I, I harbor thanks. But that was the summer I was trying to uh I was trying to drug Maul for like the whole summer. I was trying to uh sneak oh Molly's in his drink. He was Cosby oh and Maul? That's wild. I was trying to. I well, I did actually. I ended up doing it. No, that's not what happened. I'd make he you was, wear fucking vest. He too. was <laughs> pressing me all all night, right? Yo, take yo, you scared. You scared. I'm like, Joe, I took Molly before. Like, I'm not mm. scared of it. I just don't fuck with that shit. So finally, it's it's some you know this is when we was living. It was like you know some brothel shit going on. It's like, it's like it's about fifteen chicks in the crib. You know everybody chilling. I'm like Joe, give me the Molly. He like, oh yeah, all right, let's go. I take it. So now I secretly see this nigga out the corner of my eye, following me around <laughs> to, to wait to see when it starts to kick in. Right. So I'm laughing. I'm Did like, he have all right, a cool. vest on at this moment. I don't remember what the okay. fuck he was wearing. So I think, Boy, shut the fuck I think we had night pool that night or something. Like we was in the mm. pool running around, whatever. I start to feel a kick. You know, that Molly start hitting your stomach first. Mm-hmm. You get that. I'm like, oh, man, here we go. So now I, I'm just talking. So, you know, it's women around. So, you know, we just talking, sitting there. Here come Joe. He come in the room. He act like he try to act like he fake sleep. He want to lay down and hear what I'm talking about. So he get in the bed, put the covers over his head and everything. And now the, the chicks know I'm on Molly. So they just sitting in there. I'm in the chair. They talking. I'm like, now, why well, did I do this? Well, time out. Because first of all, to listeners and people viewing on YouTube, here's some backstory. When when attractive women are around, Maul is funnier than Chris Rock oh, shit, and we... Bill Burr, <laughs> and all of these. Maul becomes the funniest nigga in the universe. That's not true, Joe. So these bitches sitting there. I mean, these women, beautiful women, are sitting there so enamored with Maul because Maul's so fucking cool. Yeah. So I'm sitting there. He's just soaking all of that up. I'm sitting there with my ear like, yeah, oh, let me I, get my yo, shit. Yo, I should wake up. Right yeah, this is my now. time. This is my time. Yo, the I rapper should, yo, is asleep. Yo, I Listen, should, when the rapper yeah. goes to sleep, the funny niggas got to get their shit off. Ah, nope. That's just, I don't rap, my nigga. I don't play ball. I'm a funny regular nigga from the block, nigga. That's oh, what I do, nigga. Yo, I wanted to wake up like fucking weekend at Bernie's and be. But like, then yo, I had a terrible kill. experience, man. I can't. That's why I never, I never fucked with that shit after that. I never did Molly after that. You got someone pregnant? No. Oh. What? I don't know. No. That sounds like a bad experience on Molly. No, nah, it's, it's just bad, man. I couldn't. Uh, no. What happened? I can't talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that shit. Man. Yo, what a fucking. No- what is Kodak Black doing? You have Kodak I, I, Black's I, I, number? <laughs> Oh, you, oh, it's just news. I thought he texted you or something. No, I thought. You picked up your yo, phone and said, What is Kodak Black doing? I thought he texted you. I don't know. No, Kodak Black didn't text me. Okay. All right, good. There's still some hope left for the lyricists. <laughs> Royce is putting instrumentals in a chokehold. Don't steal my Yo, listen. But I don't like... Roy, I don't know what Royce is doing in Detroit, but he is in hibernation mode and he is going crazy. Hey, and you know what Joe's doing? Buying fucking vanilla cupcake candles. Oh, he's going to do that. This is this is Candleman. <laughs> um, I'm 100% buying candles. No rap. 
I wouldn't be. Matter rapping. of fact, stay here when we're done. Nah, <laughs> nah. Listen, I I've been rapping. Yo, you know what? I listened to the album yes day before yesterday. I was going somewhere and I listened to the whole album again. That was a really good album. It's a good album, man. Yeah, Raging really Machine in stores right now. Raging Machine in stores right now. Yeah. It is a good album. I was going to text you, but I didn't want you to get all gassed and start, you know, IG and live and no. spitting bars <laughs> and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm never that guy. Yeah, I'm so never like, giving you bars on yeah, Insta I didn't want to. I was like, but I was like, Joe really did a great job on this album. You was rapping your ass off. But everybody movie. know you can rap. That's not a secret. Oh, see, I get mad. Now you did. No, but niggas know you can rap. You ain't going to find nobody that's going to say Joe can't no, rap. No, no, you ain't going to say that. I'll I'm, just scroll through my timeline. I'm learning. There are plenty of people today. Those are. Just I know I don't talk to the trolls, kids. Yeah, I don't I, talk to the nah. kids. But uh, um, today I was uh, going through some shit, just trying to get back in my in my groove and and see what's going on out there. I'm excited. I am excited about new music. Yeah, I'm excited about the idea and, and just <clears throat> I, it, creative shit excites me. I don't yeah. know. I'm excited about what the year brings. That's mm-hmm. that's what I'm excited about. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bishop Lamont Eddie Bishop Eddie Long. Mm-hmm. Am I saying that correctly? Bishop Eddie Long, yes. Bishop Eddie Long passed away. Mm-hmm. That's all I have about that. <laughs> My mom had no idea who he was, yeah. uh, and I had to explain it to her. Yeah. And now apparently the two the two men that accused him and had the sexual allegations toward him have a tell all book. Conveniently course, coming, course, yeah. conveniently That's how that coming out. George Call, you another nigga that got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah, so well, you I'm, see, he, he yeah, apologized I, for all of that. I don't and, care. Yeah. I don't. I'm enough. Yeah. Enough. Enough of you. Yeah. Enough of you. Now he got to go to. Um, um, tell all books. Not a fan. No. No. Not a fan. Uh, what what else is there? I'm trying to think. I don't care about Antonio Brown Facebook living in uh in his locker room. Oh, we had the Janae segment. If you want to talk about that. Uh, I might want to. I might want to save that. I might. Pat, where we at on time? We owe these motherfuckers a long episode. That's why I'm not. Trying to rush off. Well, Janae put out a song. Fine. Is that that's, mice? That's true. Yeah, that's mice. Mice, what up, B? My song, Lefty, Gun Up in the Right Part. Niggas don't remember that, man. That's mice's fault. Yeah, that is mice's fault. <laughs> that, that, that is no one's fault, but but my, mice is, is an OG. Mice's yeah. been, mice been around. Mice yeah. more of an OG than me. Yeah. So if niggas don't know that, it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> mice, uh, mice, definitely, mice definitely had a run where it was like, this nigga is going. 100. Good yeah. to see you, my nigga. Yeah, we still. <laughs> Mike's my only a verse now that I think about it. Oh, he, yeah. See? I, 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 I you can. Guys. He probably. You probably do owe him a verse. You owe a lot of niggas verses, B. A lot. I'm not gonna go with a lot. I don't At least know. six niggas. Be like yo, Joe owe me a verse. They be lying. Niggas be seem like yo, what up with Joe? That nigga owe me. He supposed to send me yeah. something like sound like yeah, Joe. No, niggas be wanting to talk. <laughs> they just be wanting to talk. That is, that is all. Niggas know who I fuck with and who I don't fuck with. Right. That's one thing I've always been. It's very vocal. Um, but Janae Aiko, Roy sends me a Janae Aiko song that was on her SoundCloud. I was going to save this for the sleeper part of the podcast. I really was, but the song is too dope. Mm. It's too amazing of a record. Um, I'm an R&B head. I got to say that again. Certain songs just speak to me. So do I want to talk to y'all about this song or do I want to play the song? Which one do I want to do first? Tell me what I should do. Play it and then talk about it. Let's... All right, where's the my, where's my little fucking? I'm gonna use the bathroom while you do that too. You, where's my little thing in my jig, Johnny? I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, I got it. I'm not gonna fuck you up, Johnny. All right, here we go. Right. I hate when when people release really good songs on their SoundCloud and then nobody knows or nobody gets to hear it. SoundCloud is amazing. So here's some backstory here about this. <clears throat> what is that noise? Somebody playing something out there. Man, if y'all don't close that fucking door and shut the fuck up out there. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is an accident waiting to happen here. All right, beautiful. Uh, so now, listen. Janae Aiko, Sailing Souls, the first. We love all of that. We love the EP, Maul. That was, what, 2010? We love yeah. We love all of that. Mm-hmm. And as earthy as Janae Aiko is, she got famous. For, uh, her most famous line is, eat the booty like groceries. I think that's hilarious, but I've said that already. So off of that, right? Mm-hmm. I had a fear that once Janae Aiko was happily in love, right, like we've seen many a time before with songstresses, that the music would falter, right. And I haven't liked much of the Janae Aiko music since her like, since her album, mm-hmm. right. But then there's this song. This song is called, uh, no. 
Oh yeah, this is beautiful. This song is called New Balance. Mm -hmm. The only thing bad about this song is that I'm sure she's singing about Big Sean. That makes this really funny. But that's Rory, Rory's line, by the way, Big Sean. Don't be mad at me. That's Rory's line. Sean is a friend. Big Sean's a friend of the show? Of mine. So he's a friend of the show. But yeah, it is funny that this beautiful song, <laughs> if you think about it, about Big Sean. I owe Big Sean an apology now. <laughs> and Janae Aiko. This song has made me like them. <laughs> oh yeah, you said that wild shit that you didn't like them because they were both tiny. <laughs> well, they are both tiny. <laughs> Wait, let's hear the song. <laughs> Ma, have you heard this song? No, I haven't. This is a real pretty melody. is amazingly written yeah lyrics are right. hurting most of us are searching someone to love someone to understand most of the time i'm fighting multiple voices residing in my head then there's you he busting her ass. <laughs> she wrote this? It's just some new dick song. I don't know. I don't know if she wrote it, but <clears throat> I'm gonna it sounds go, like I'm, her style of writing. Yeah, I think she wrote it. And that would be creepy if she had somebody else write about Big Sean. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first artist that... I mean, Puff didn't even write Biggie's to tribute when oh, wait, he died. <laughs> Yeah, I could definitely hear Joe playing this at <laughs> a seven decibel on the fucking. Hey! <laughs> you gotta light your candles and your incense when this shit's on. Yeah. Rory, you gotta put your grass button up on. <laughs> you know Rory got a button up made know. of grass. I was right? gonna say, I don't know what that is, but I probably got one in the closet. Uh, <laughs> I gotta water my shirt. Is this your sleeper? This would have no. to be a sleeper. No, I, no, it's too great. It's too great. It's That's why it should be a sleeper pick. No, it's greater than sleeper pick. Oh man, damn. I've played this song at least a hundred times since I've rec since I heard it. <clears throat> How you say that? You are what I prayed for. You are what I was made for. Yeah. I want to feel like that Does one she day. feel like that About Big Sean? Yeah That's why there's some Funny tones to everything Wait That's how Simbi feels She's want to go with me <laughs> But listen Oh She killing this shit This is hard Listen This is on Janae's SoundCloud page this is the rough version. Mm. It's labeled uh -huh. as rough. It's labeled as New Balance Rough. Oh shit, you're right, it is. So she's not even finished with that. Which is funny. She's she's very smart for that. She had to hear this and know what this was. Well, the backstory, I don't know if this was the rollout, but during that Kid Cudi uh, shit when he was getting mad at, at Big Sean and Janae for dating, because I guess he's friends with Janae's ex-husband. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean and her, I guess, went like back and forth on Twitter and was like, nah, you need to release that record. And she's like, I don't know if I want to release it. And then she released it. Okay. So I don't know if that was planned, but that's where that's the song a pretty comes record. from. It's a great record. I don't know if you told the backstory when I was in the bathroom, but I fucking, yeah. when we was on the phone, I was like, yo, Janae released the best song this year and yeah, no one knows that's about hard. it. That's an amazing record. Now, I, 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 had to, I was telling, uh, when you went to the bathroom, I was saying that I, I, Hadn't heard a Janae song that I'd liked in a while, well, and, she, I, I mean, and her, I'm off, and I've been off Janae anyway. Why? I'm, well, you back on the Janae train now? Now I am. Mm -hmm. I am. And Sold out I'm, came out 2014, so it's been sig a significant amount of time since we've gotten a project. I want to send outside my, of the show my shit. most humble apology 
to uh, Big Sean Janae. Sean J. That was a horrible couple name. What was my old couple name for them? <laughs> Sean Benet, J is funny. Benet. Sean J is funny. <clears throat> oh, wait, did I tell you guys my couple name for me and Sin? No, but I can't wait to hear it. Ready? Ready. Joel Santana. Get it. <laughs> Joel's. So, <laughs> listen, do we have sleeper picks for the week, though? <laughs> I'm ready to get the fuck out of here on that note. <laughs> Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't sit here Yo, no more. You know, more, you just sat there and said you wanted to feel like that about somebody. Now you cursing me out. Uh, that's you had some cool uh, Janae story. No, my Janae. I was no me. my Janae story. What I was off Janae because I asked Janae for. Uh, I asked Janae's manager and Janae for a verse at least six or seven years ago, and it just hit me the other day that I got uh, served like an industry line or like she writes slow or some shit. It just hit me that that wasn't true. <laughs> she, curved, she, she curved and you just found yeah. out. Yeah, didn't you go? Like, didn't you have like hot chocolate and sit down at the That's diner? That's what I'm and saying. Together? That's yeah. the story I was telling Rory. I was well, I was no, saying it went back to the bus. How how uh, when I went to see a, uh, when I went to see Janae because when that project came out, what was the name of the project? Sailing the first Souls. one. The first first the first one. the first one. Sailing with, Souls. With you versus us versus them. Three sixteen. That was and all that. that was classic classic shit. That. Oh my god, that was great. But when that came out, I wanted to work with this young lady so bad that I I was in search of her. Mm -hmm. So I went to LA, I sit down with her at some bum ass diner and she was well known and clearly heating up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if her Def Jam deal was done, mm -hmm. but she was clearly heating up. She was well on her way to heating up. Mm -hmm. uh, and we sitting here talking and we, we just vibing. We never really talking about music, but we having a good conversation, right? And then midway through, she says, you don't remember me, huh? And I really get scared when women say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. Because my memory is terrified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Women, you should stop doing that. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna do it, do it right in the beginning of our conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it two hours in, yeah. and then you're like, wait. So mm -hmm. there's been this elephant in the room this yeah. whole time. It's a couple things that women do that y'all should stop doing. Mm -hmm. But so I said no. <laughs> <A> couple. <laughs> <laughs> so I said no, right? And she begins to tell a story about how at the Marcus Houston video, um, I was on a tour bus. Because I flew there somewhere. I flew there from somewhere, and I was on a tour bus being antisocial uh, and an introvert like I am, and I was blasting R&B on the bus for mad long like I still do. And this young little-ass girl is on this bus jamming with me to fucking R&B. I'm playing Brandy. I'm playing all types of shit that mm -hmm. this little girl shouldn't so, uh, know anything about. In 03, she would have been, what, 15? Younger than that. Had to be younger. I don't know how old she is, but she didn't look well. She's, two she's years a tiny girl. Me, well, I she's a missing. tiny girl now. So right. imagine how she looked at that age right. as part of that uh, group that she was a part of with mm -hmm. her sisters, I think. Mm -hmm. But that was Janae Aiko right. on the fucking bus mm -hmm. at the Marcus Houston clubbing video in 2003. Yeah, because she has she has a kid with Amarion's brother, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, brother, cousin, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I say all that, say that. It's really fucked up that she didn't give my verse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's but that was it. Uh, I just, I, that's it. It's just a beautiful song. Just beautiful yeah, that song. Is a I thought record. the song was too great to make it yeah. a sleeper, and I wanted to humbly well, apologize. Make, got me rethinking my sleeper pick now. I'm a total different <laughs> side of the spectrum than that beautiful music you just played. Oh, who paid you this week? <laughs> I can tell you. Nobody has ever paid yeah, me to play their record, John. I know, I know. This nigga's crazy. I know, That's a man. crazy niggas, thought. Hey, I ain't know that our little sleeper picks, niggas are seeing a spike in they, and they yeah. streams out there. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I didn't know. Yeah, for sure. I didn't know. I, mm -hmm. We got to start I've, taking I've, some I've credit. Some, we got to talk our shit out here, man. Mm -hmm. I've had some offers for some payola that I ain't take. You have 100% taken Name one record. Go, 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 go. Name <laughs> no, one record. Name I one record. I can't do that, Well, that's what payola is. We can't prove it. That's what yeah, payola is. You yeah, can't prove. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. Um, did I miss anything? Anything of, of any importance? You know, we always uh, remember the things that we forgot as soon as we walk out. Yeah, I feel like we covered a lot of ground today. I mean, we kind of we feel briefly like, touched on love and hip hop because we went back to the New York rapper shit. I'm off love and hip hop. Somebody better get beat the fuck up at the reunion. <laughs> yeah, for real. Why you want people to get beat up? At no, the no, reunion, no, for man. real. Because it's too oh, much. Oh, the Yandy shit. fight's about to happen. Yandy, Yandy, and you know, I'm, I'm tired of that. Yo, the, the love and hip hop editing crew is a one, top notch. They do some. Do great we really believe that that uh, Rich was shooting hoops by himself with a f uh, snapback on? <laughs> Rich don't look like he shoots hoops at all. <laughs> Rich probably shoots hoops by himself. No. Probably. I don't know nobody that shoots hoops by themselves. 
You think you don't know nobody that you think it's weird to eat dinner by yourself. I think that is weird. Rich, Rich is. You think a, going to the movies by yourself is weird? That's one hundred percent weird. Exactly. There's nothing weird about shooting hoops by yourself. As a <laughs> in a park, where should you do it more? In a bathroom? Yeah, in a park. So if I see anybody shooting hoops by themselves in the park, I'm a, I'm gonna get out and play with them. Like, come on, man, Let's just check up. Well, Rich is the Shep of the industry, so I guess it makes sense that he's playing by himself. Yeah, that's I'm, weird. <laughs> you're weird. There's always somebody willing to play basketball. Even at the park, yo, fam, but, you want to play one on one? If I go to the park, I don't want to play basketball with anybody. Man, and go I'm at somewhere the else. Age, that is weird. Man. I'm at the age where I just want to shoot around something. Nah, man, go walk. Go, go do some feed the birds <laughs> or something. Go, go walk. walk. Get your ass off or, the court, or nigga. Feed come shooting the hoops. Birds. I wish a nigga would be shooting hoops by himself when we come to play. He'd be like, nah, I ain't finished yet. If you don't get your ass can, off this court, somebody, man. What you going to do? <laughs> Shit. Speaking of that scene, can someone please, with editing ability, just make a reel of how Cisco just appears in scenes? In the church, he appeared on the second floor. Cisco Yo, that just was be crazy, appearing. my nigga. <laughs> I need a whole compilation of appearances by Cisco. Why was Cisco and what's the girl's I name? I don't know her name. I don't know the girl's name, but why was Cisco on the balcony and they screen <laughs> talking to each other like motherfucking Bruce Leroy and Vanity at the end of fucking Last Dragon? I why are they doing that. that in a church? I didn't see that. My other favorite part was Drewski telling his girl that he set up a MacBook on record to record her going through his phone, except the camera footage is shaking as if somebody is holding the camera. Yeah, that and, was it's, I, and it's and it's it's clearly iPhone footage. Yeah, that was, that was kind of crazy. That was crazy. I thought that was a genius <laughs> idea, though. I mean, if you're willing to do that, y'all kids, you millennials, man, y'all are pretty creative. <laughs> I gotta give it to y'all. <laughs> I know why. I never, I never would think to do something like that because my manhood would not allow me to sleep at night at all. Sorry. Hey, if my girl's going through my phone, I'm just not finding out by setting up a secret camera in my house and then posting it on Instagram. Way I, to go, Drewski. I was just waiting for her to find something. Rory, if he was that dumb to leave shit in there. I, Rory, Rory probably doesn't want to offend his political connects, but Rory, hold the Hot 97 staff, Hot 97 staff accountable for thinking that Drewski is out of here. <laughs> Wait, what political connects do I have at Hot 97? I don't know. It's just a really cool line to say. <laughs> but outside of that, yeah. Come on, do it. Ah, oh, he's scared now. I, I, I'm confused where oh, I'm even man, involved me, in this. Hey, you know what, man? Let's get let's get some sleeper songs popping, man. <laughs> I see I'm the only nigga with some, you with scared, some man? Yeah, Apparently you so. Need a dog. We just had a whole fucking conversation about how everybody at High 97 thought oh, Drewski oh, okay. was out of here once he got on Love and Hip Hop. And now fucking I stand corrected. Now he don't know what you're talking about. No, I didn't have that man. What type of shit you? I read. Shut the fuck up, crazy man. Now I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, because everyone on the High 97 staff said that Drewski was. The fuck out of here once he got on that love and hip hop shit. Mm -hmm. And it's. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of, because that just reminded me of a rant that I wanted to go on that I'm not going to go on. I'm sorry, I really didn't know you were too long. All of you New Yorkers that are moving to LA, I'm happy about it. Get the fuck out. Because leave. (laughs) That's why. Then up the traffic. (laughs) Well, well, I'm I'm New York to my soul. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like you have to be of a certain ilk Mm -hmm. to survive in New York. So I feel like the same way I, I don't I don't feel like I'm for L.A. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think I could live in L.A. Mm-hmm. I think there are some people that just can't live in New York. It's not for them. I want all the people that are not for New York and can't leave. really seem to get it. Get I mean, out the way. Fuck out of here. Bye. One. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do people still go to L.A. with, with hopes of fucking Hollywood dreams? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, take Instagram photos. Now everyone's Hollywood. You got a phone. But do you have to go to Hollywood to be Hollywood? You have a phone, so we're all Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Especially the Sade bitch who lives in L.A. who goes live at 4.30. See, she's in L.A., <laughs> see? Yeah, but she shouldn't She shouldn't feel like she's that high. <laughs> they, none of them should. Yeah, but my view is kind of, no, some of them should. Oh, cool. I had an L.A. point that I wanted to bring up that nobody is addressing. I don't know who. Let me hear uh, it. I want to put on record that I am Team Tupac. I love Tupac. I think he's amazing. I think Pac is real. I think... <clears throat> Pac shot police. I think he beat people up. I'm scared of Tupac. But are we not going to say that Tupac started this trend of moving to L.A., becoming from L.A., and hanging out with gang members? He started it? To what Soldier Boy and Chris, I'm not comparing Chris Brown and Soldier Boy to Tupac. I'm comparing Well, that- Pac had family in Oakland, though. Okay. So, you know what I mean? I I'm, can't say that. I'm just looking at the pattern of Soldier Boy being from Atlanta, Mississippi, where the fuck he from, uh, Chris Brown being from Virginia. Now they're both from Bompton, and their bloods. 
and they're from that's LA. That, that's that new was Pac shit. the first? No, because Pac did that. Yeah, but I. First of all, y'all know how I feel about Pac. I love Pac, not but him. he did a lot of that, questionable shit make that, that really people clear. don't really bring up and talk about. Y'all know that I feel that way. But I love him for what he's done and what he did for the culture and things like that. Absolutely. But he was human and he had he had his flaws like we all do. And he did a lot of questionable things that you don't think about because we were so young back then. But now that I'm the age I am, I'm like, if a nigga did that now, I would call that out. Like what? Like, for example, when Big was talking about when they bumped into each other at the VMAs. And this was like right when the beef was starting. He was like, yo, what's, dog, what's up? Like all these, these, these interviews and these records coming out. Like, oh, was and Pac said, I'm just trying to sell records. Yeah. What? That's crazy to me. Pac was a smart guy. Nah, I can't. <laughs> nah, not when you were real. They, they were real friends you, at one point. Like real friends. Like you um, can't do that to a real friend. I'm sorry. This is why I like to be quiet on this. Pac for a, lot, for, for a long time. You know, Pac, Pac is my favorite rapper B. 1B. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Hove has probably eclipsed him because he's, but 1A and 1B for me is Hove and Pac, and 1C would be M probably. All of my five, my top five, they're all ones to me. But, no. Nah. nah. We can't have these conversations, these type of conversations. We've heard a million different variations of all the things that have went on between right. Pac and right. Nas. Pac and Mob Deep. Right. Pac and Biggie. Pac and Meth. Like there are stories for all of them. Right. So how how are we to say what what part of it is all authenticated and, and, and what's not? I mean, that part is true, but that's a, a we, story we, that we comes know, up a lot. We know we know that him and, and Biggie were fly to a degree mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. I'm not calling them friends just because Biggie did that interview and said that. I remember the interview. Mm -hmm. You couldn't tell me anything about Tupac when I was young. So I remember that. I'm not I'm not rolling with that just because he said that. Mm -hmm. And if Pac wanted to sell records, so like I don't care. I don't I don't nah. think that's I don't I don't I don't see I don't see the problem. No, nah, I can't. I, I, I'm I'm never going to agree with I'm that. I'm not not I don't knock the niggas now that want to sell records. No, it's okay to want to sell records, but how you go about selling records to me is the problem. No, I think that they had legitimate Reasons to beef. I don't, I don't know. You you would so. you would lose that one. <clears throat> I can, for everybody that says Pac was dissing all of those people for uh, uh to sell records, I could name a legitimate reason. A legitimate reason he had to beef with all of them. Mm. Well, we'll never know. But we're not comparing the uh, ilk of fucking. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I want to make that to on record that I'm not comparing Chris Brown. Do we think Boy that Chris Brown all, and Soldier Boy can fight? I think yeah, Chris Brown could I fight. I think Chris could fight. Chris could definitely fight. Now we know he has some stamina. Yeah. Because he dances. Yeah. And his footwork. Yeah. Come on. He and can we, front flip without a running start. He, he could fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that don't mean he could fight. But he should be able to fight if you could front flip. He's athletic on beat. enough to learn how to fight. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Is what I'm saying. Someone should be teaching him how to fight. I think I, he should be able to be. Soldier Boy looked like he's had a few scraps. I will say that. I don't think he can fight. I think we all have. No. No? No. Mm -hmm. No. 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 A Especially today. Especially today. That's the problem with the fucking world right this second. Mm -hmm. That people are not having scraps. No. I agree. No. People are, we're able, we're in a generation where we are able to say things and not be held accountable for them and most times not even see the person that we're ever talking about. Right. When are people having scraps? Right. Well, the most mature thing the two of them did was say, hey, let's just fight. That was the most mature thing that happened in that entire mm -hmm. side sidebar. One of my favorite DMX lines ever. All fucking week you've been talking about that drive by, right? And ain't did nothing but drive by. <laughs> Go ahead, DMX. <laughs> X is great. X is one of the greatest. Right. Um, yeah, I'm off, I'm off of them niggas. I don't, I don't care. Do we care that that whack is saying they can't fight? They can't have a fight. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> yo, no, yo, yo this is really shit, madness, man. dog. This is really mad. I don't. I'm not gonna talk it's about a it circus. either. Circus. But boy, this is madness if I have if I have ever seen it. Yeah. Hip hop. Yeah. I'm sure glad I'm segueing out of hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey y'all can have this shit, mice. <laughs> Fuck this. It's too many rules. Yeah. I'm I'm so glad that I don't have to abide by uh superstar rules, thug rules. Like to be a thug sounds mad like stressful. It's tough. <laughs> I'm not with none of it. No, nah, I'm cool. Mad stressful. I'm cool. I'm cool. Uh, what well, I kind of agree with with Wack. I don't know much about Wack, and I'm not trying to learn more about him. But I, yeah, if you're gonna pretend to be a Pyru, I'm gonna take the money for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm controlling it. Fuck that. Yeah. You want to parade around with a fucking handkerchief? Yeah, 
I'm getting some money out of it. But <laughs> but if he's claiming them, then they're not parading around. They're really part of it. It's uh, extorting them. But, I don't you know. think they're really going to fight anyway. <laughs> they're not going to. They're, they're, they're not going to fight. Chris Brown not is not going to. I told y'all he's not going to do that. He can't get in that ring. I would, though. His career his career would be over. If I am so with people getting in that ring and just fighting. Yeah. Chris I'm with that. that. Chris was, can't do that. He fought for free. Yeah, but that's different. Poor Frank Ocean. Didn't want to do nothing but record his fucking song. Here come Chris Brown having a bad morning. I would hate Chris Brown's the last person I would want to see having a bad morning. <laughs> Yo, could you imagine Chris Brown having a bad morning? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. All right, so I'm off of that. Fine. Um, lastly, I'll, I'll say this just a, as a quick tidbit, fucking, because it's unfortunate. Macy's and uh, Macy's and Sears, people are losing jobs. A lot of them, fast. They're closing stores, a bunch of them, fast. Macy's closed like some stupid number, like 100, 100 stores or some shit. And that's a big deal. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but yeah. that is unfortunate. Yeah, it is, so. I didn't know Sears was still open, period, but. Get your money, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, American 2017 could be real rough for a lot of people. Right. Not I. Right. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. What'd you say, Roy? American Apparel closed. It's about fucking time. Oh, no one you... wants to buy a t-shirt for fucking $80. Well, more importantly than that, what are you bitches going to wear now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, all that's left is BB. <laughs> yeah, you bodysuit wearing bitches. Is, uh, y'all upset oh, now. It's going to be shit. a tough summer now. Right. You better head over to, what's that store we get our, the teeth from? Quantic Quico? Qu- what? What's the fucking store with the Q in the mall? Starts with a Q. I don't, I don't know. know, bro. Nico... Oh, uh, 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 no, it's the Japanese uh, Q, looking shit. Uh, yeah, Q. see, exactly. None Whatever. of us. It ain't just me. I don't know how to pronounce it, nigga. <laughs> I forgot how to say. I forgot how to say that. Yeah, but that's what they're gonna have to do. That American Apparel niggas a creep. Actually, that might be wh- why they went out of business. Is because of that store. Maybe. Yeah. Well, well, no, and uh, Uniqlo. 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 Yeah. Well, homeboy was spinning. That's all definitely up. why. Now I think about it, because I went to the one in yeah, Soho. That might be exactly why in, American said, Apparel went out of business. This is American Apparel, but way more reasonably priced. Yeah, it's the yeah, same. That might be cheaper. exactly why they went out. And of it's business. better shit. Well, mm-hmm. well, well. The owner of American Apparel, and you don't quote me on any of this, but there was apparently some sex. Uh, he was fighting sex allegation cases for for a long time, and he was using the business's money, uh, and not enough people were buying, so he was doing this for years. Like That's spending crazy. millions of dollars fighting cases. So That's crazy. So that coupled with uh Zara, H and M, Uniqlo, other stores. Yeah. Uh yeah, no. Sorry. So damn, ladies. <laughs> so, Gotta find some higher socks somewhere else. <laughs> hey, head to Target and get your Hanes tank tops now. Jinx <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, love wearing a fucking tank top. Uh and that's all I got. I don't think so I'm missing anything else. Sorry. Sorry. What kind of Yankee hat is that more? It's hard. Uh, this is from uh my peeps on LA Killer Hype. Oh, is that what that is? That's dope. Yeah. That's that's really dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, sleepers. Yeah, I got one. Let me get mine out the way. This is uh back to uh Conway and uh that whole movement up in Buffalo. Those kids are gonna have a big year. <clears throat> this is uh this is a dude. Uh, his name is Benny. This is called uh Dirty Needles. It's with him and Conway. Benny and Conway. All of this sounds hard already. He didn't say a word. It's hard. It's hard. Anybody that says bridge is hard too. And dirty needles. When you repping dirty needles. This is hard. Window so long, they think it's a broom. It's my town. Don't get shit confused. You got a misconstrued. None of us rap tight. We got misconstrued. Middle fingers. We from Buffalo. My young nigga aiming a cig right at your wig and shoot. The street shit to unpredictable. That's why I got my pistol door. Where the work like it's a business suit. Fuck niggas chasing if it ain't a bag. Nike crazy. 20 niggas with me wearing Haitian flags. My homie told me turn the pot down before I break the glass. I'm weighing powder smoking sour from Jamaica ass. I watched the whole brick take a bath. I've seen the dope boy make biz money and still take a cab. Dope money. Why you go first? Jimmy Hoffa walking out of Benny Hanna's Coco Mabalenciaga's got an OG and blow your shit off for $50. 
Half a brick of raw white as Cindy Lopper. I'm in a trap eating fish and lobster. I like the clips, sip the vodka. Black Sopranos, we considered mobsters. Your dope short is Andy Miller knockers. She a whole rat. As soon as I fuck her, she a trending topic. I load the beam if there's any problems. They expect that from you when you coach the team like you Jimmy Johnson. I move like the feds really watching. In New York City shopping, that's what they think, nigga. We really copping. Look, I know what you really copping. You know, we rap the shit. I'm um, rapping the brick. Look like I'm Millie rocking. Take a hundred bands to Philly's robbers. And knock a rap trap stick niggas up. It's way too many options. Mm. That's Benny off his uh, mixtape, My First Brick. Benny featuring Conway called Dirty Needles. That movement is crazy. I fuck with two um, niggas hard. Just Wait, Blaze, just that, Blaze is working with them. That was more than one person. Well, no, that was uh, Benny on the first version, and Conway had the, the last verse. But did you play the last? Who's also no, you want to hear it? You want to? I'll hear it on my own time. Okay. So who was that rapping? Benny. I believe. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, that, that was that wasn't Conway. Yeah. I'm rapping the brick like a Millie rocking. That dude Conway is, crazy. is coming behind that person. Yeah, <laughs> and he. But Conway's nice. Yeah, don't get it twisted. Yeah. Well, yeah, that person is not the best lyricist, right? But you don't have to be sometimes. When right. You're just saying a bunch of hard <laughs> shit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that shit is hard. That's why I fuck with Albie. Mm-hmm. Albie just say a whole bunch of hard shit. <laughs> I, I keep telling you, Albie remind me of Petey, hard. man. He remind me of Petey Crack. He remind me of Stack. Petey ain't as hard as Albie. Albie's uh, hard. Petey had more, I'll say, style. Well, he was from Philly, so. I ain't going to just Philly. rush and say that Petey had, well, yeah, he did. He had more style. He did. It was very unique. Yeah, yeah he was more I'm unique. Not, but I won't, I'm not going to say that because Petey, you know, that was a long time ago and, and, and we lived with that for a while. I want to give Albie time to get in. Albie, I feel like, really ain't hit his shit yet. Yeah. Not even at all. Right. Because of some other shit going on. Right. But, <laughs> right. but outside of that. Right, yeah. I feel like I'll be gonna. I'll be might have a big year. Yeah, Albie might have a real big year. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So Roy, don't do that again, more. Don't I play. Would, yeah, don't I don't play know that, how to don't even do that. follow. Don't play this. the fucking hard ass sleeper song first. I mean, I, it's I, fucking. Dick. I just had to get it out the way. I hope you played that for free. Yeah. All right. Good. I don't know those dudes. I just I fuck with they movement. I don't know them niggas. All right. Damn. Good, I was gonna play like a, a Usher remake. Uh, this is gonna be. I think mad everyone's gay. used to your barefoot in the crib music. Buddy. This is rap. But it just starts this with the is Usher rap? shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. He oh yeah. Yeah. We heard this. Who is this? Oh, this, this is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is uh Fem Dot from Chicago, who I think is really, really dope and has a bright future. Not paid. Never met him or spoke to him, but I think he's really dope. I need PC. Any of you niggas start getting deals out here off these fucking sleeper picks? <laughs> I'm dead ass. <laughs> Because your song playing on the podcast should count as a stream. Stop that, Rory. Your song playing on the podcast should count as a stream. Mm-hmm. It should. Now, it doesn't because streaming is just their way of fucking everybody without lubricant. But it should. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Rory. I didn't want to. That's fine. She drunk called me, said you ain't being honest enough. I made you promise, not like I made you promise too much So how I'm supposed to know when all of your problems come up When you avoid all my questions when I'm calling you up I wanna tell her that I'm stressing and hurting I mean a lot's going on and I just feel like a burden And with a heart like yours, girl, I don't think that I'm worth it But then again, telling you would probably defeat the purpose Said I mean honestly we problematic regardless We ain't together but together regardless That 2016 logic Situationship got us We was good, what happened in limbo But neither one of us gon' bend over backwards Cause when I tell you what's up Things get crazy Cause you don't try to understand me sometimes You try to change me So when I shut you out sometimes You get angry But I want you to grow with me Not try to remake me And when I ask you what's going on It get crazy You tell me all these problems But say don't save me So when I try to help Think I'm controlling situations so now when you say something wrong i'm like damn that's crazy and the cycle repeats a lot a lot get lost in interpreting texts and tweets a lot lost in the communication we think we got but i can't let you go and vice versa you might hurt me i might hurt you but i'm yours and you mine but we gotta get it together back on that young 702 vibe because where we at and where do we go from here because i don't want to stay i don't want to go i just really need to know can we get it together? I mean, cause we together regardless. Yeah. Cause we together regardless. That 2016 logic, the situation ships got us. So we was all in here.
here talking. All right. Fem dot. dot. Fem dot. Yeah. I'll play you. Um. I'll send you a zip of uh, a bunch of his shit more. He's right. nice. And he he redoes a lot of that R and B soul shit. Which reminds me, Tori, you stop doing skits. I thought I told you that on a podcast before. <laughs> stop doing skits. I never want to hear a skit. You shouldn't even say any word that starts with sk. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how bad that was. Don't fucking do that again. Now, so every time that I go on on, on Periscope or Insta Live, I, I play a young lady who I'm very fond of. Uh, little known, but I'm extremely fond of her because good music is good music. And I played this song uh, that Rory kind of put me on to. And I'm only telling you guys this because you won't be able to find the song because I don't know if she well, what's, hates cause the I, song. I, I, well, I played this when we I first found her. And I kind of put you on. I, I put you we on. have a lot more listeners. Uh, no, I want you to play. I was wondering which one. I think I oh, played Ocean. Reason. Okay, yeah, play Reason. I played Ocean. Reason, as a sleeper Reason is at the end of... This one you can get. This was the shit she put on Fader. Her album, Island in My Mind, which is one of the best projects I've heard in the last five years, is not available anywhere anymore. So this is Adria, Audria Kane, who I love. See, I chopped this myself, though. Yeah, I know, because it was oh, that one yeah, long yeah, 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 song yeah. shit. Every time I play this... Everybody on the fucking chat just like, who the fuck is that? And then I don't feel like giving backstory, so I figured I'd play it here. Just beautiful music. She's super talented. Well, you thought I was going to succumb to pressure and play rap because Rory and Maul played it? Fuck them niggas. (laughs) (laughs) I'm still on my light and the incense shit. Fuck they talking about mice. (laughs) You know what I mean? Johnny, give me my fucking lighter, Johnny. Oh, it's right here. Oh. I don't know what I'm here for. You say me. You don't know what you're here for. I'm calling. Speaking of Beautiful music is playing, and while we're about to exit, before we go, I want to take this time to just let 
a lot of y'all chicks on Instagram. I don't know what's going on in the air on, in, with 2017. A lot of you bitches are doing too much. Yo, I really thought you was about to say like something profound and shit over this. Malaya. <laughs> Malaya. Malaya, darling. You're doing a lot, Ma. <laughs> She's doing a lot. <laughs> what the what Malaya? Malaya's in boy shorts with the stove on. Uh, okay. Making something jumping up and down. Oh, I saw it's that. a lot. It's a I, lot. I saw that. It's a lot of y'all doing a lot. It's a great video, though. Resurrection of Bria Mouse, 2017. I love that. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, she, was, she ain't she never trended. Never going nowhere in my eyes. She never faded away in my book. No, nah, she faded away. She stopped eating for a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she back. That bitch was like 50 pounds at one point. I was about to call a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, though, we gone, man. We got any last words, last words? Oh, let me plug. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we might as well make this a segment. Mo, keep a plug. <laughs> no, I'm just plugging Mac. You know, I got to oh, plug my yeah, family, gotta plug man. Got to plug Mac. Got to plug uh, Mac. Get, get right movement, man. Uh, West 211, 129th Street between 7th and 8th Ave at 7 next week, uh, the 23rd. Uh, follow, follow get underscore right underscore workouts on Instagram. Get right for the... Uh, for your life not, not 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 just for the summer Get right for your yeah, life Yeah go out there And fuck with Mac man That'll be his first time Working out in quite some time <laughs> Niggas with muscles Feel like they just Ain't gotta work out nah, Like Mac, as much as nigga, other niggas That nigga Mac Hit you at five t- Telling you to get him A workout like, Nigga if you don't Get off my phone I don't know if Mac Is skipping leg day I, Mac, 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 Mac might be skipping leg day Nah that nigga Ain't skipping leg Mac I gotta talk to you Before the get right movement man. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, here comes a more plug I'm, and, the, I'm the rapper here And I don't plug shit right, That's funny <laughs> Uh, Henny Palooza February 4th in Miami uh, and then All Star Weekend in New Orleans. Tickets are available at hennypalooza.com. Yo, how much can Henny can niggas drink? <laughs> like, God, God damn it. Till they die. God yeah. damn it. How many Henny Paloozas are there, man? Mm-hmm. A lot. <laughs> I don't have anything to plug. I'm low with mine. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, I just want to shout us out since we three podcasts away from. Uh, no, two podcasts away from number 100 now. I still have zero idea what we're doing for the 100th podcast. I don't know if anything special should happen, but I well, just want to shout us out for getting through 100 of these because it's not easy. Well, almost 100. We're almost there. God willing, we get there. But still independent. We should poll the fans on whether we should do something for the 100 or for the two-year anniversary. Because you yeah, and I were stuck I, yeah, on what I'm not celebrating do. twice. I'm not that celebratory that I'm celebrating for the 100th episode and the two-year yeah. anniversary. So, fans, a lot. if you have any bright ideas, listeners out on YouTube, uh, please feel free. Uh, friends, text me. If you, anybody has any bright ideas, please let me know. Uh, outside of that, yeah, still independent. I have to say that. Still independent. You heard, Elliot? What happened with uh, Rosenberg? Why, why we never got uh, him and, uh, and Marty to come up here? Marty lives in Los Angeles now. I think mm-hmm. Nah not full not From full. what her Twitter says She's she coming back And then moving She hasn't responded To any of my tweets <laughs> So something mm-hmm. tells me She won't come visit That's mm-hmm. one Peter I'm not sure This was supposed to be A Rory job To ask the two of them To come on mm. Well we never decided I wasn't gonna reach out Unless we all wanted ask to Ask them all right. Extend an olive branch It's 2017 <laughs> Alright man Good spirits Right I wish everybody well Is what I'm saying Right I, I don't harbor any ill will or, or, or malice or animosity Toward anyone out there So I want everyone To just be well Be merry And be great This year For the next four years Actually Something tells me You're gonna need it Right We out 100 Peace Yo people don't say 100 anymore I, I don't know how to say You bring one back well, I never stop saying one I sound <laughs> like that guy <laughs> I'm that guy How do the kids say Oh Alright we Say less Come on man <laughs> That is what the kids say. That is. Yeah, so say right. it less. We're not supposed to talk more, though, right? <laughs> I fucked it up. Damn say it. Say less. Damn it. I can't even say less right.